Circles are so beautiful, aren't they? And today we get to measure them in different ways. We get to measure them using th thinking about their areas, their radiant, their radii, and their circumferences. So the diameter is the length all across the circle, the center of the circle. So any of these, that's any any chord that goes through the center is a diameter. And all of them are 34, and a radius is just half of that. And you might you might say, why do you have both of those things? You can just have one. Well, it's, it just it just depends on what you're trying to do, right? If you're trying to fit a table through a door, you care more about the diameter, right? Because you got you have to know how how long it is to see if it could fit through that door somehow. So you have the circular table trying to fit through a door. But if you are, you know, managing a, a park, a public park, and you've got a public restroom at the center of the park, well, you're more interested in how far the edge of your park is from the restroom, right? So you're more interested in the radius. Because any, any person in, in anywhere in the park will be, you know, only that far away at most from the center, right? So it just depends on what you want to measure, right? So we just have names for both of them. And if you're going on a run, well, then you care about a run around the park, then you care around, you care about how long you're going around the park, and that's the circumference, right? So the circle's radius here is just half of 34 or 17. I won't say so many things for the next problem, so I just wanted to give you guys an explanation for what each of these things is. So the radius of a circle is one millimeter. What is the circle's circumference? Okay, well, the formula for the circumference, which is a really cool formula, actually. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting, right? It's not the formula for circumference, it's actually the formula for pi, but I won't go into that. So what is it? C equals two pi r. But 2 times r is d, so you could write c equals pi d. And the diameter here, or the radius is 1, right? So it's just going to be 2 times pi, right? So c equals 2 times pi. And pi is 3.14, so it'll be 6.28. Okay, so what is the cir uh, circle circumference? So you've got... Radius of 3, 2 pi r, which equals 2 times 3.14 times 3. Let's just ballpark it, right? Let's just ballpark it. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. So it's got to be a little bit bigger than 18. Now, I guess it could be 18.84 or 19.25, right? So we can't be lazy. We kind of have to figure out exactly what it is. So it's 6 times 3.14. 6 times 4 is 24. And that's kind of all we need to do, right? Because we, we narrowed it down between 19.25 and 18.84. number ends with a 4, so it has to be 18.84. The circumference of a circle is 15.7. What is the circle's diameter? Okay, so circumference equals 2 pi r. And we know that the circumference is 15.17. So we have to set this equal to 2 pi r, but that's also equal to just pi d for diameter. So all we have to do is divide 15.17 by pi. Right, we divide both these sides by pi. So D equals 15.17 divided by pi. 
Okay, so. No, not 15.17, 15.7, right? 15.7, so that's just a seven. So that's just a seven. So let me rewrite it neatly. The diameter is 15.7 divided by pi. And pi is around three, so you know the number is going to be around five. It's going to be a little bit, yeah, it's going to be five. I'm just going to skip that step. Okay. The circumference of a circle is 9.42 inches. What is, the circum what is the circle's diameter? Okay, so circumference equals pi d, or 2 pi r. So we'll do 9.42. equals 3.14 times the diameter. So we're going to take 9.12 and divide it by 3.14. And they're being nice to us because 9.4, like 14 times 3 is 42. So that's 3 and that's 3. So it's just going to be 3. So the diameter equals 3. The diameter of a circle is eight. What is the circle's radius? Okay, we love these. We don't have to. You know, we have to deal with three point one four, right? So there's eight. Uh, this is just half, which is four. The radius is just half. The radius of a circle is two miles. What is the circumference? Okay, so. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r, and this will equal 2 times 3.14 times 2, which is equal to 4 times 3.14. which will be 12.56, but I'll write it out. So 3.14 times four, we've got a 16 here, we've got a one, we've got a five, we've got a 12.56. So that would be maybe a big part and you want to go around a run along that the edge of that big park. The park is radius two miles. That's not crazy, right? There are parks that are that big. Not too many, but there are. And you want to go around the whole edge and you're like, how long would that run be? That'd be a pretty long run. But then again, there are people who can do that. The circumference of a circle is 21.98 kilometers. What is the diameter? Okay, so circumference, in this case, we'll use equals pi d. So that's 21.98 equals 3.14 times d. What do you think the answer is? Again, they're being nice to us with these, right? So if you if you ignored the 0.98 and you ignore the 0.14, you'd guess it would be seven, right? And it is gonna be seven because 14 times seven is 98. So if you actually did that division, you'd get exactly seven. The circumference of a circle is 28.26 millimeters. So this is 28.26. What is the circle's diameter? Okay, so circumference equals pi d. So 28.26 equals 3.14 times d. So we're going to divide both sides by 3.14.
to get the diameter. And what do you think the answer is going to be? Well, if we did 9, right, 28 divided by, 27 divided by 3 is 9, and they're being nice to us, so we probably think it's 9, but I won't be lazy. I'll actually do it out. So 28.26 divided by 3.14, right? There's no, there's, there's no, oops, there's no reason that the, the actual answer would have to be a whole number, right? It's just they're being nice. So 9 times 3 is 27. Oh, wait, that's not. 28.26, I'm dividing here. 28.26 divided by 9. Or divided by 3.14. Sorry. Okay, so this is 9. This will give us 9 times 3.14, right, will be 27 plus 14. I mean, it's just going to be 28.26. Right? So, yeah. All right. So it's just going to be 9. All right, and our last one, the radius of a circle is 3 meters. What is the circle's area? Oh, interesting. We have an area problem here. Okay, so the area of a circle, that's this. Right, so that, that would be like you're painting the tabletop. How much paint do you need? Right, so the area is pi r squared. So in this case, it's going to be pi times 3 squared, which is 9 pi. So what we do is we do 9, 3.14 times 9. So that's going to be 6. It's going to be a 3 here, 36. So 9 plus 3 is 12. Put a 1 there, 27. 28, 26. Okay, so the area of the circle is 28, 26. And again, that is, you know, that's like how much stuff fills the circle. Okay, guys, um, I hope you had a good time with circles. They're, they're really, really interesting. You might ask yourself, why is the circumference formula and the area formula, why are they those formulas? And there's some really cool videos on YouTube that'll explain to you why they are what they are. So I would look them up if I were you. Okay, have a great day.